guys, it's Cassie. It's Richie. So it's been a minute. It's been a minute. It's been a month since we uploaded a video. Maybe oh, a little yeah. bit more. Yeah. So obviously a lot has been going on with obviously COVID. It was hard for us to film together because we, we couldn't. We weren't allowed to see each other, but yeah. now things have been lifted. Vancouver, where we live in Canada, is reopening and we're allowed two to six people gathering in a household. So it's great. Richie and I can work again. We're actually in my house. And yeah, my bangs have grown out quite a bit. It's basically covering my vision. I had to like curl it like yeah. this. But anyways, Richie and I actually filmed this video a couple of weeks ago, but we decided to refilm it due to the current situation that is happening. We wanted to kind of respect what's going on and not push our own content forward, yeah. but amplify the voices of those that are in support of Black Lives Matter, including us. Richie and I were very vocal on our Instagram and Twitter yeah. about everything, and it's very unfortunate and it's even more unfortunate that it's been going on for so long yeah. and it's frustrating, it's sad. Yeah, we wanted to be sensitive with what's happening around us and also for ourselves, um, like mourn with people and feel what they're feeling. And mm -hmm. I know that we can never be in a place where we can actually feel what black lives um, have been going through. For the past two weeks, I have been, we have been really reflecting on what it really means to be an influencer yeah. and using our voice not only for um, the job that we do and what we're passionate about, but also about matters that are really important. Mm -hmm. And so taking a stance and not being silent was the message that has been like put out on social media and we have a responsibility to speak our voices, speak our opinions, and just to bring light into um, this whole situation. But yeah, so we're here, we support um, the, the movement, and we just want to let everybody know who is supporting us that mm -hmm. we stand for justice and we stand for love, most importantly. So we will continue to amplify um, those who are oppressed, those who have been suffering. So yeah, we want to use this platform for for that matter. Mm -hmm. And you'll find in the description box resources for you guys to check out as yeah. well as um, places that you guys can donate and help support the movement. We're actually going to be donating the monetary AdSense revenue from this video. So if you guys see extra ads, all the money that we're getting from yeah. this video will be donated. And yeah, so this is our quarantine favorites, things that we've been loving during quarantine. Yeah. It's very random. We're not gonna put it into categories. So it's just a random array of things that we've been living. For the past three months. For the past three months. Yeah. So the first thing I'm gonna be talking about is the Unseen Sunscreen by Supergoop. I hate the feeling of putting sunscreen on my face. It just feels like greasy yeah. and I hate that white cast. But this literally feels like a primer, similar to the Smashbox primer. Very much, yeah. In that it's a gel. You see it's that? So it's clear. Good. And it dries matte. I love it. Has it has no scent either. No scent, no white cast. It's perfect. And I've been needing this because unfortunately during my quarantine, I burnt my face oh. with oil. Richie has no idea. Do you see on my face, like the burn marks? Oh shoot, yeah, what happened? Did you just notice? No, I didn't see it. So I splashed oil, like <gasps> hot oil on my face. It wasn't, it's not, you know, like that bad. When you were cooking? When I was cooking oh an egg. God. So bad, I was just really hungry. I just wanted to make food. Um, so I needed this sunscreen so that I could protect my face so that my burns wouldn't scar and become dark. So yeah. I had to layer up on the sunscreen. You wanna see how my face looked like a week what? ago? in the world? I didn't, didn't wanna share this. Like this is such a petty problem compared to what's going on and I didn't want like my yeah. vanity to take over. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? But this is basically. Oh my! <laughs> when did this happen? Like last week. Oh my god! <laughs> you guys, this is serious. It just looked Ow. weird. But yeah, super goop. Love them. <laughs> Protect your skin. Even when there's no sun out, honestly, it's hiding behind the cups. Yeah. So Laura Mercier just came up with their new skin essentials line or collection, and I've been loving it. I've been using it a lot. The first thing is eye cream. I need my eye cream because sometimes I see creasing underneath my um, 
concealer, which is not very good. It's always stretching yeah, yeah, yeah. the Yeah, it's a very sensitive part of your face. So prevent the wrinkles right when you're young. Yeah. Um, so this is the Illuminating Eye Cream. Um, and it has no scent, which I love. And then I also have been using this mattifying oil-free moisturizer um, Just because you know, I have oily face still have to take care of your skin during this quarantine season just yeah. to you know, rack up moisture, I guess. So my next favorite is the Dyson Pure Hot and Cool Air Purifier. Guys, it is so important for me to have an air purifier in my room. I have three pets, birds, two birds, and my little dog Dislo. <laughs> Did Speaking you hear of. him? <laughs> I should get him. Speaking of Dislo, <laughs> came to interrupt our little video. Um, oh, 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 oh. So yeah, I have three pets and also, you know, staying at home so often, you are breathing in so many chemicals such as, you know, the oven, because I have a gas oven and cleaning products. So you want to make sure that the air in your your house is clean. Are you going to tell them about that incident? About what incident? The purifier thingy. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so my brother was cooking egg late at night and I don't know if he used too much oil, but something was burning and it was kind of smoggy. Yeah, yeah. Then all of a sudden, the purifier started to alarm. And I was like, what is going on? Apparently, the air quality, because there's an LCD screen in the purifier itself, it was on, I don't know, high, bad? Bad it was air, red. bad. It was, it was red. red. It was, it was bad red. air quality, and I was like, okay, so I got to open windows. I don't want to get some sort of carbon monoxide yeah, thing yeah, going yeah. on. Um, so it was very helpful to have that information because I would have fallen asleep breathing in all of that air if it hadn't alarmed. Exactly. So yeah, it's a really great product, and it's. A great investment. I love Dyson products. As you can see over here, I have the Dyson vacuum that I purchased oh, yeah. three years ago and I still really love it. Oh, look at little behaved boy. Next, I have this frother that comes with its own stand. Um, I love this, you guys. You've seen it in our quarantine uh, vlog? Yeah. yeah, quarantine vlog where I was frothing some milk for Cassie and I kid you not, like I cannot drink coffee at home without frothing my milk. Yeah. So this has been an essential like um, wake up in the morning, make my own coffee with frothed yeah. milk. Frothed, frothed milk. Um, so yeah, this is from Amazon. Super inexpensive actually. Yeah. We'll link it down below. My next favorite is this. So it's the Biosense 100% squalene, squalene, whatever oil. So it's plant-derived squalene, and I really love it because it's a three-in-one product. You can use it for your body, face, oh. and hair. So, your hair? Yeah. I don't want to put too many products onto my face because of the whole incident that yeah. happened, but I found that this really helped like soothe the burns. Yeah. So. Up next, I have this antioxidant water booster, which has a lot of good um, ingredients in it. It has green tea, white tea, grapeseed extract, and concentrated polyphenol. So mm -hmm. I searched up what polyphenols, like what the benefits are. So it actually like is good for your gut, your oh. digestive, like if you have digestive issues and yeah. all that stuff. Um, you can also find it in a lot of like, I guess like diet. Yeah. So it's good for like if you, want to cleanse or detoxify your body. Oh, that's great. Yeah. yeah, it pretty much just supports your body's natural detoxification. Yeah. So It has goji and maki berry too, so. Mm -hmm. You just squirt it into water and drink it, right? Yeah, it's like an essence. Hummus and crackers. Hummus. I just always look for a snack mm -hmm. at home and I've been loving this, especially with baby carrots and I give the baby carrots to Dislo because he loves it too. And the crackers is what has me sold because they're just like the most satisfying crackers. I don't know where I can just buy a whole box of these, but they're just these sesame like flatbread crackers and they're so good together with baby mm -hmm. carrots and it's like a late night snack and yeah. it's healthy, relatively healthy. I have the Malin and Goetz. Eucalyptus deodorant. I've been looking for a new deodorant for a while because the aerosol deodorants and just the regular drugstore stick deodorants <laughs> just don't do it for me. All the chemicals and ingredients in those deodorants actually make my armpits smell worse <laughs> in the long run. So I've been looking for a natural deodorant and this is great because it has eucalyptus and 
Citronelle. It keeps odors at bay, which is great. It leaves no residue. It's clear. It smells fresh. It smells great. I should probably roll okay. on some. Okay. Yeah, I really like it. There's, it doesn't leave like a white. Yeah, yeah. It's clear. It's invisible. Yeah. I have been loving this top. I've been wearing it a lot. And it's kind of like your Lux PJ along with this, the bottoms. Yeah, I like that it looks like PJs, but like but like you can wear it outside. Yeah. So with heels or with sneakers. Heels or sneakers. It's, and I love the color. Yeah. It's just really nice. Ami Song, shout out to you because this is so pretty. This is from Song of Style. And lastly, I have been reading this book, Get Out of Your Head. Um, we have we have a lot of time during quarantine, so reading is definitely a good pastime activity mm -hmm. i guess to kind of challenge your brain but also like get in good knowledge so this is all about just your thoughts and your thought life and how it actually affects the way that you live so the way that you think and um, especially during quarantine it's very easy to get stuck in your head mm -hmm. and so this literally says get out of your head and it's a it's from a christian um perspective jenny allen um she i mean it's best-selling author of Anyways, no one might say that. But yeah, very good book. Um, if you want to kind of like just read from her experience, she's very honest and how she was able to hold her thoughts captive hmm. from a biblical perspective. That's great. But yeah. So my last favorite are these pants. Yeah. This is the TNA workwear pants from Aritzia and I've been wearing them like crazy. Hopefully it's not sold out by the time you guys are watching this video because these are literally my go-to pants mm -hmm. for when I do go out because they're so comfortable. They fit so well. I will say they are pretty long. Um, I am maybe almost 5'9". And they fit right at my ankle. I like the pockets. I like how easy it is to wear, especially um, dressing it up with like a blouse. Mm -hmm. I think it looks really good together. And yeah, that's basically it for our favorites video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to follow us on our Instagram platforms at Cassie Masenkai, at Richie Pumman Two On, and at We Are To The Nines. Don't forget to hashtag We Are To The Nines to be featured. Follow Dizlo the dog too. He's down there just chilling. Yep. <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys in our next one. Bye. Bye.